Husband and wife Matthew and Holly Salgado scrubbed the words die pigs off this stranger's wall Monday morning, just one block away from the Massachusetts State House. Just sad that this happened in our own city too, you know? Um, just doing what I can, I don't know. It's not right. These people didn't do anything to anybody. The couple drove up from Brockton after seeing last night's destruction and brought along extra cleaning supplies. Strangers walking the bricks of the Freedom Trail stopped to help. I don't know what it is. They had a bunch of it over there, so we just grabbed it. Anything, at this point, anything is better than nothing. I think we're in the middle of history right now. From Back Bay to Downtown Crossing, businesses were vandalized and looted by angry crowds of people who broke off of a peaceful protest that took place earlier Sunday evening. The owner of this nail salon said she's been looking forward to reopening after the coronavirus pandemic lockdown lifts. But now, her family business will stay closed months longer. And up and down Newberry Street, businesses were boarded up in case tonight takes another bad turn. Reporting from Boston, Megan Adelini, The Boston Herald.